Lego has made so many awesome Lego Star Wars minifigures, but some are definitely due a remake. One minifigure Lego should 100% remake is Zam Wessel from Attack of the Clones. She was first featured in the Bounty Hunter Pursuit set from 2002 and we haven't seen that minifigure since. I was really expecting Lego to update this minifigure for the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones in 2022, but Lego clearly had other plans. Another minifigure Lego should definitely remake from Attack of the Clones is Jango Fett. We haven't seen Jango Fett in Lego since 2017 and it's become quite an expensive minifigure since then. One minifigure I'm really surprised Lego hasn't remade is the Clone Trooper Pilot minifigure. We last saw this minifigure in the 2015 Republic Gunship Microfighter set and it had a really inaccurate helmet. Lego had the perfect opportunity to remake this minifigure for the UCS Republic Gunship set in 2021 but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. Generally I think Lego has done a great job with their droid minifigures but one droid minifigure that definitely Desperately needs a remake is the tactical droid based off the Clone Wars that only appeared in one Lego Star Wars set and it's super expensive to buy now. A remake of the tactical droid would go really well with Lego's updated Super Battle Droid design. Another minifigure Lego should remake is Hondo and Naka. Since Lego released this minifigure in the pirate tank based on the Clone Wars in 2009, Hondo has appeared in Star Wars Rebels and most recently at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I'd love to see more Hondo in Star Wars and I'd love to see him in Lego again. Another minifigure that was featured in that pirate tank set was Obi-Wan Kenobi in his Clone Wars outfit. This minifigure has only ever had one variant and I'd love to see it remade. There are also some other Clone Wars minifigures Lego should definitely remake. Savage Press appeared in the Sith Nightspeeder set in 2011 and I think it's an amazing minifigure. It would be really cool to see it with a more realistic face print and it would go really well with the latest Darth Maul minifigure. I'd also really like to see a remake of Pre Vizsla. Although he hasn't appeared in Star Wars since the Clone Wars, I still think a lot of Lego Star Wars fans would love to see him in a set again. One of the most requested Lego Star Wars minifigure remakes has to be Count Dooku. The last time we saw him in Lego was back in 2013 in the Duel on Geonosis set, so it's been more than a decade since we last saw him in Lego. I think Lego needs to make more Jedi minifigures. Every Lego Star Wars fan already owns Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker and Yoda, so Lego should definitely revisit some prequel era Jedi minifigures. Other Jedi minifigures I'd like Lego to remake are Coleman Trevor, Plo Koon, Evan PL, Stassa Lee and Luminara Unduli. I also think Lego should revisit Barriss Fee, especially since we saw the rest of her story in the Tales of the Empire series. Another Lego Star Wars minifigure we haven't seen in more than a decade is Queen Amidala. This minifigure appeared in the Gungan subset back in 2012 and wow, this looked incredible. I actually don't know how Lego could improve this minifigure, but it will be great to see Queen Amidala in a set again. One Star Wars character I'm really surprised Lego has only made once is Mon Mothma. She appeared in the Home 1 Mon Calamari Star Cruiser set in 2009, and more than a decade later, Lego still hasn't remade this minifigure. I think it will be great to see an updated Mon Mothma minifigure based off her appearance in Andor. Lego actually already has an updated Mon Mothma minifigure design from the Skywalker Saga, and that would be amazing to see in a set. 